Hello, we wanted to show you a new application we've been working on. Um, many thanks to Mansour at uh, ESRI for uh, his work with this, but we've been uh, asked a number of times about um, offline uh, um, use, of, use of ArcGIS offline. So if you're out in the field and you have no Wi-Fi connection, can you still get base maps? Um, and can you add shapefiles to a, an interactive map? So you can still work if uh, you have no Wi-Fi connection. So we've developed an application, again, off, off of uh, some really nice work that Mansour's done. We've adapted it. Um, this, is a, this is basically an online, at the moment, application. So what we've done here is we've loaded uh, a base map. It doesn't want to zoom for me. There we go. We've loaded a, loaded a base map, um, which, as you can see, is fully interactive. Um, what we'll do is we'll just zoom in to a certain extent there. Um, now, you've got the ability here, if you know you're going to go offline, and, and in this case, this is the flow, the application flow. This could be done automatically. But if you know you're going to go offline, what you can do is you can hit this Save button in the top right-hand corner. Now that does a combination of things. That caches what you currently have as a base map to that zoom level, plus it actually uh, caches a zip file. So it goes out and grabs a zip file um, and caches that too. So let's go back and we can see the map's now going to load again. Let's pull the straight back to the same extent. Now let's take this application offline if I can see what I'm doing. Um, let's go settings, we'll go wireless connection, we'll go flight mode which takes us offline and let's go back, let's open up our application again and there we are, now you can see in the top left, I should have pointed out first of all, but we're now offline, prior to this it said online so we are now offline, so let's just zoom this map and see where we are as you can see, very interactive very fast performing. Now at some point we're going to lose our tiles. There we go. We've lost our tiles. So we actually we actually zoom the map down to a certain extent. This, that, I should only do that to show you that we are actually getting this out of the, the off the local uh, machine and not we're not online. I'm not trying to pull any tricks on you. Um, so that's good. So we know we've got the base map. So let's see if we can load an, a, a shape file. So as I said, we. Uh, we took a shapefile and we've, we've, we've loaded it onto this device and in this case it's actually a shapefile of Utah so at the moment it's, ju it's, it's just working through getting ready to uh, actually render that and there we have it and as you see we don't have any base map there so uh, again I just, just to prove the point that we are using everything offline here the, the shapefile and the base map is offline we could have zoomed in deeper than that stored all those base tiles and seen that base map but there we have a shapefile which is loaded on top of um, that base map. So we're uh, we're able to now load multiple shapefiles um, and be able to uh, see them and interact with them um, in an offline situation. So uh, very cool. And there we have it. We've loaded the uh, the base map again and we've got that shape file over the top so lots of interesting things we can do from here and there's some really really exciting things that Mansur's told me that um, w that are coming forward from ESRI and hopefully we're uh, going to implement some of that stuff here so uh, some great things to come but this is a really this is really exciting so thanks for watching